Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you guys exactly how much it costs to start selling on Amazon, break down to you all the different costs, go into every single thing, really break it down to you and just kind of give you a, um, a, a, a bird eye view on how much it would cost you, but where all those buckets go and, and kind of what it is really. So if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. My name is Bashar Katu and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to dive right in. So be sure to buckle up, grab a notebook, grab a pen, grab popcorn and soda, and let's do this. All right. So, you know, one thing that I was, as I was kind of thinking about where the costs go and what they are and, and, and kind of, um, you know, what are the different things that you spend money on? And I came up with five different buckets, right? Now I might add to those buckets as I go, but just kind of um, like uh, from a 3,000 foot overview, there are five different sections or categories of things that you are going to be probably spending money on. Some things you might spend money more than others. Um, some you might skip. Some you don't need. Not all of those you need. Some of them you don't need. Some of them, you know, depends on the product and so on and so forth. So when it comes to the very first thing that I think about when I start any business, when I start any venture, when I try to do anything in my life, and that is coming from a, you know, that comes from a experience, right? I'm not speaking because um, I simply want to just tell you this for the, the heck of it or whatever. I am telling you this because I wasted nearly five years of my life and about half a million dollars. So I learned my lesson. So now anything that I do, I start with this thing and that's learning how to do the thing correctly. Because regardless of what you're trying to do in life, someone else has accomplished it before you. So why go through the trial and error and go through the headache of learning it and waste time that you can never get back? Why not spend money that you can actually do the thing, right? So coaching. Now, you know, obviously there are all kinds of different things. You can learn your way by watching YouTube videos and, and doing all that stuff. And obviously that's free. It costs time. That time could be a month. It could be six months, could be 12 months. It could be never, but it's not about just the information. And that's the thing that, you know, this is kind of, I should, I should coaching plus accountability plus community. So that's kind of the thing here because it's not just coaching. It's not just like having a step-by-step -step on how to do it. Like right now, when I look at our students pool, what makes them successful is not just how great our program is, but it's how great our community is. It's the accountability partners. It's the mindset training that we provide our students. It's the community of 5,000 nearly students. Of, it's the five coaches that are working with every single person. It's the five you know, weekly webinars. It's you know, the motivation that we do, it's all the free grants that we give our students. It's the, you know, free trips we send them on. It's all this other stuff that comes aside from the information that actually, you know, helps you accomplish the thing. And that's why I truly believe that a community of winners and a group of people that are, you surround yourself with is really important for you to succeed. So if we were to put a price tag on this, it depends, you know, you could obviously go out there and get a 997 course, but how good are those? I once bought one and it was shitty. Um, any decent coaching will cost you a minimum of three to 4,000. I would say 5,000 is kind of like, you know, average. It's um, 5,000 is, I guess is, is reasonable. You know, any good coaching will cost you anywhere between seven to 10,000, right? But let's just kind of, for the sake of this video, Let's just say it's about 5K, right? The second thing you're going to go into is going to be product. So when it comes to product, it's not just buying the units and that's it, but it's everything else before, right? So first you have to do samples, right? So samples will cost you anywhere between 50 to $150. These are important. <clears throat> Why? Because you want to make sure that the product is actually good. What I also suggest is that you order two or three, two to three products of competitors, and compare those to your product and, and how your quality looks, right? Now, there's obviously the units, right? So this kind of depends on what you're trying to buy. If you're, let's just say, for instance, you're trying to buy a product that sells for $20, you should be able to buy it for 25% of that, which is $5. And say you're going to order 300 units. So <clears throat> we're going to do $5 times 300 units, and that's going to be uh, 1500 right? I think. It's 1500. Uh, 15, nope. Five times 300. Yep, 1500. Okay. 
And one thing I forgot is shipping, right? Shipping, it depends on the product, how heavy it is, what's going on. Usually it costs you about the same amount as the actual product. Let's just say another $1,500 just to be safe. So that's going to be about 3000. So product for the product itself and for the shipping, um, it's about, you know, $3,000 for 300 units. So that's about $10 per unit. That makes sense, right? Labels. Um, this is where you actually, you know, uh, buy labels and depends where you get them from. You can buy them for like $2 or you can buy them for $50. Depends where you get them from. I like the $50 ones. So I'm just going to say $50 for the sake of this example. The other thing is package. You know, you want to get nice packaging, package and logo, right? You want to create your own logo. You want to create your own packaging. You want to create your own everything, right? So how much does this cost? It can cost you as cheap as $20. I like to say about $150 just because, you know, it might cost you about that much. Photography and listing. Now, if you're going to do your own listing, that's great. But if you want to hire someone, it'll cost you anywhere between $150 to $200. Also, photography, you need professional photos. Don't go cheap here and go find some stuff on Fiverr or go, you know, get some stuff from your supplier because they probably give it to like a thousand other people. This is going to cost you at least about $200. For, so for the two, let's just say about $300. Inspection. This is very important as well because you want to make sure that your product is actually good. It's actually, you know, is what you expected because what if they gave you the sample, sample looks great, they manufacture 300 units and half of them are garbage, right? You want to be able to hold your supplier accountable. So that's going to be anywhere between $100 to $250. We'll just say about $150, right? So right here, we've got 600, we've got 650. Let's just say another 150. So that's 800 plus 3000. That's about $3,800 for the product right here, right? So again, do you have to do all of them? You don't, but I just highly suggest that you do, right? The other thing that you want to think about is business setup. So this is important here to think about, right? And why is that important? Because you want to look into, you know, um, do you, you know, this is, again, this is one of those things that is not a must, right? It's important that you set up your business correctly, right? And it's important that you set up an entity. Why? Well, what if something happens two years from now and someone sues your business and you've got a house, you've got a, you know, business, uh, you've got a, a car, you've got $100,000 in the bank personally. You want the the you want to mitigate the loss at the business level and, and not have it pass on to you as well. So having an entity is important. That's number one. Number two, it also is good for taxes. You can write things off. Like this mic, when I bought it, I wrote it off as a business expense. This laptop that I'm using, I buy it off as business expense. My internet, I buy I, I write it off as business expense. But an entity will cost anywhere between 250 to $700 depends on where you live and what you're doing. Trademark, um, you can do this by yourself and file a trademark on USPTO.gov, USPTO.gov. And that'll only cost you about $250. Now, why do you need a trademark? Again, both of those things are not things that you need today when you first start. They are things that you can do later. But if you do have the money, I would suggest that you do. There's a thing called um, brand registry with Amazon. And what that is, is it gives you, it unlocks some, I guess it unlocks some things for you that a regular seller, seller does not have, like special advertising uh, strategies. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure you've seen listings with like pictures and videos in their description. It unlocks all that for you. I think it can increase your revenue by five to 10%, maybe even 15% if you have this. And it's a low cost. It takes about a month. So I highly suggest that you do it when you first get started, if you're going to do it, right? The other thing is tools. Now, we personally use Helium 10. You can do their cheapest thing, which is $99 a month. If you do enroll in BJK University, you get 50% off first month or 10% ongoing. So that's $99 a month. The other thing is launching. And that's another important aspect of the business. You found a product. You're part of a great community. You know, you, you paid the money to get your entity set up and your business set up. You, your tools and everything is great, but then, you know, you come to launching and you don't do anything. Well, that's terrible. What do you want to do is you want to take your product cost and you want to multiply that by 35%. And that is about the amount, how much you want to spend on your uh, launching, right? So if let's say your product costs you $1,500 times 
35%. Don't ask why 35%. I have a formula that I've created and it's just, I figured it's 35%, right? So 1,500 times 35%, that's about $525. We'll just say it's 550 for the launch, right? So it costs you about $550 to launch your product uh, if, if the product cost is $1,500. And what that does is you could do giveaways. You could also budget some for PPC. Some people run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, influencer marketing. I'm not saying that we do or you should, but I'm just saying it usually costs about 35% of how much your product costs for you to spend money on advertising. So just kind of, a, and again, from a 3,000 foot view, and I know I just threw a whole bunch of stuff at you and I do apologize, but for you to get started on Amazon, I usually suggest that you have approximately about $10,000 USD to start selling on Amazon successfully, right? Now, some of you might be thinking, Bashar, this is insane. That's a lot of money. I don't have this much money. You know, why do I need this much? One thing you got to understand, and let me tell you a quick story about that. Um, about 2013, we invested $200,000 to buy a restaurant. We invested another $250,000 over the course of the next three years to try to make this place actually profitable. And we never did. I used to work 120 hours every single day. And at the end of it all, I lost the business. I lost nearly half a million dollars, three years of my life that I could never get back. And that was that. The traditional business needs between 50,000 to 200,000 for you to start making money. And we'll go at least two years before you actually profit a penny. And 80% of beginner startup businesses fail before they even get to year, to year number two. So for you to start a business that you can operate from anywhere in the world with just computer and internet with only $10,000 is, is, is a steal, right? Even if it costs you $20,000 is a steal. Some of you might be thinking, but Bashar, I don't have that much money. I understand. When I first started my Amazon business, I was $150,000 in debt. So how did I, how did I even have money? Yes, I invested money, but how did I invest money when I was $150,000 in debt? Because I borrowed money. I simply found people that had the money and I borrowed the money from them. I have a video on this channel where I talk about what I would do if I were to start from zero. Number one, I would find a vehicle. Number two, I would find somebody who has the money to invest in my vehicle. And number three, I would find a system or a blueprint that can help me throughout the journey and guide me so that way the money that I'm borrowing, I'm not blowing off. And so if you... If you believe that Amazon FBA is the right thing for you, if you believe that either you have the 10K or you feel like you are resourceful enough because one of entrepreneurs greatest characteristic is that they're resourceful and you want, a, you, want a, you want someone to help guide you through the process, I want to invite you to a short 20 minute presentation that'll walk you through how it's done, that'll walk you through how you can succeed on Amazon, that'll walk you through how you can become successful on Amazon, how 4,000 other members have gone through the same training and found success on Amazon and how you can be next. Click the link below this video if you want to go through that presentation and hope you enjoy it. If you don't do anything, at least now you know what it takes for you to become successful. And now I gave you a budget on what you need and so that way you can think about it. But just do know if you don't do it for yourself, no one else will. Outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.